Well, everybody, welcome back to Farthest Frontier. So last episode, we started getting up the hill, and we're just working on the road systems, getting the market and the housing all up, expanding a farm field here and there. Overall, pretty flat map, so that does kind of limit our ability to get defensive properties here. So we're going to try to take advantage of this height as much as possible. The game really will emphasize these things on the Vanquisher difficulty with the new combat units. I, I mean, I can't stress enough how important these things are, but uh, but he does their thing, you know. But we should be able to get quite a bit in here. Hoping to get maybe two towers. Two towers. Here. This area right here looks like I can deck it out in towers, and that's great. Would have been nice if it was facing a... Uh, Facing the residential side, though. That actually may be the way to go about this. Now that I'm looking at everything. Because if this is facing the residential side, um, that's going to lead to a much more efficient design. So let me think about this. Hmm, thought about it. We want, Yeah, I need to make sure the defensive units are... The trade post and the town center are the two biggest targets. Um, and I do actually want this to process over here. Yeah. That's just the way it's going to have to be. Put a well in this little spot right there. Alright, let's put this to the times three. Alright, next goal is going to get the uh, getting money. We do need to work on getting the work camp up to tier 2, but right now it's doing pretty well. There's lots of wood. The hunter cabin up there is not pulling in much as he could for 8 deer being there. We have quite a bit of hunter cabins. I want to make sure that the meat's not spoiling. It's not. But food is definitely the priority right now. Right, got our basket shop up. All right, so spirituality is the the next thing. We got the two towers up now. Very good. Tower overlooking the defenses and all of the residential areas. And we got hunters kind of in every direction, making sure the wolves don't wander in. Very good. Another willow spot down here with herbs. 26 patch of herb, not bad. Alright, we don't have a whole lot for trade, so... We need to start uh, pulling things in that we can trade. Making sure that when they come next time, we are ready for them. Alright. Right here, a barrack is going to be a barracks. We'll just, you know. Probably put a couple of uh, storehouses in here and call it a day on that design. What do we got? 57. This done. I like this spot right here. Entryway. Still building our trade networks. As far as storage goes, we should be able to fit one more storage in here. Right there, and then that gives us enough room for another corner tower. And like I said, this whole this whole back here is just gonna be towers. Now we'll be able to rain hell on anything. Definitely room for more industry here. Well, 
to figure it out. This is a kind of wonky design for sure. Alright, let's take a peek. Zero people. Oh, yes, we've got 13 farmers. So, bump this down to six. Keep the same thing going. This will eventually get rid of all the weeds and rockiness, and it will give us huge yields of beans. That's great. That'll be a big, big thing of food for us. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is going to be great. Got lots of room for building stuff in here. Definitely want to focus on defenses to some extent, but I like the forester and the wood being so close together because leading to some high efficiencies. Alright, we're out of wood. Manually harvest some of this stuff. Lots of good wood right here. Immense amount of really good trees around this area. Perfect. Look at that. Maybe about like 1200 beans right there. That's going to be perfect. And we're going to need a graveyard. A graveyard out over here. It makes sense because I don't plan on building out over there. Here we go. Actually, have made sense to do this a little differently. Basically, just do another another line of a uh, little row of areas right there. That's basically what that is. Dual road, and then I think this road right here. We're going all out on the on the design right now. I, I like to. I really just want to like get the defenses up so that I'm not uh, embarrassed, <laughs> which is what happens when you don't think the enemy can destroy you. A lot of people play in Vanquisher and they don't realize as your population increases, the difficulty increases. In uh, regards to well, there's actually three ways difficulty works. Time. Oh, let me put it this way. Uh, from the moment you start the game, you have certain percent chances for difficulty of, of raids to hit. Going from easy all the way up to hard. That's why sometimes you'll play a game and you'll get a really hard raid, your first raid. It just kills a lot of people and you're like, that doesn't make any sense. It's because it's it's all... The difficulty is all based on uh, random... Uh, it's random, but it's based upon how many... Um, uh, what tier you're at. How many people you have determines how many people in the raid will attack you and how much time has gone by what year you're on will increase or decrease the chances of those difficult raids so there's there's lots of factors in that regard but the big one the big one is people um you know three or four hard versus three or four easy raids isn't generally going to you know destroy your village but if you go from 50 to 150 people and you've only built one tower, like, you're gonna get wrecked. So you have to scale your defenses with your populations. Or you're gonna have a bad time. Hmm. Oh yeah, we're just... We're just going to overspend. And it's gonna be great. So, now that we've gotten everything there... We got a big old forest of people here. We got eight people cutting. We got three people building. We're going to go into super fun mode. And and that is where I just tell everyone to stop working. Who is not vital. Alright. Four hunters. Alright, cool. So now we're back up to the 12 months with all the hunting. Um, I definitely need to get into the productions now. I always kind of uh, kind of do these things after the fact, but you can do them definitely in the beginning of the game. All right, cool. Tannery is good. Okay, 
apiaries or these I like to get these up and I've talked about this too much the point that I hate talking about it but as long as only one is uh, kind of going into the other you only get about like a 10% honey bonus reduction um, if I were to put it over here the thing is is that the farmers are the ones who collect the honey so I personally like to uh, I spread them out like this, so I'll probably have like a 15% loss per. But it makes it really easy for the farmers to just, when they're done farming, to go over and grab it. For me, like the the negative 15 or maybe even 20% loss on honey bonus is offset by that efficiency. It's just a personal thing. It's the way I do it. Clean, it's easy. Um, problem with this, though, is the bears will come. And I don't have a tower over here. And the bears will, uh, bears are dicks. So, I got that going for me. That's another thing that we wanted to do, is I wanted to put a fence along this edge here. In order to keep, uh, the animals out. They do come in, they have to come in through the sides, and that helps the tower. the roads down all right I'm just gonna get as many people as I can pretty much cut in wood that is four and get this area built up Towers in there, towers in here. To do the trick. It's a very sloppy design, but it's uh, it's gonna work. Now my other design that I'm gonna be using, my mega design, was the one that I came up with in the city of Re. But I'm gonna fine tune that. Because it had a lot of open space, and I think I could have done a better job. Uh, but maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Find out. Cool. I will start getting some honey for trade. Alright. Oh, whoa, he's buying herbs. Do that in a bit. Healing roots, I should say. And some of these will sell. Yeah, we just need money, really, at this point. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff I want to build. Ooh, clay bricks at plus 16. We do need these. We'll see. And we got 50 days on him. If we want to get our forester up, which I know that we do. The uh, sooner we get the forester up, the better. Alright. 47. We need 25 of you. That is little, little much for us at this point. Yeah, they went too much. I usually buy my bricks like around 12. Um, right. We're getting there. Oof. Oil quality on this needs to be brought up. We need a bunch of sand to do that. Oop, pause the game real quick. 94. Ooh, 11. Alright, cool. Well, I think we're going to buy these anyway, because I don't know when I'll get another opportunity. Five. Transfer. Yep, 25. So we need 15 iron ingots now. Look at that. We could sell some boards. Alright, buy 10. Board money. And pull some money from the town, even. There we go. Eight. I'm gonna buy a bit of these. I'm gonna buy 
five extra, I can upgrade a, a hunter cabin. Yeah, hun upgrading hunter cabins is also a really good thing to do later on in the game, but I'll go into that more detail later when I do it. All right, we got some, we got some monies. Uh, oof, clubs it. I'm gonna buy these clubs, even though it's a lot of money. I don't have any, I don't have too many melee weapons for my hunters and all that. I'll increase their longevity there. All right, cool. So we got the forester now. I always go for the forester first uh, because of how long it takes for everything to build up. I'm thinking like two, three years down the line, I want a full forestry area. All right, all right, and so we're at like basically no no gold positive territory right now. I'm gonna build four more houses. Cool. Very good. Get those houses up. Get more people coming in. All right. So we're gonna go back to normal production now. Very good. Nine spare laborers. Very good. Extra gold coming in. And our bean harvest is going to be massive. Kind of like right there on the edge, I know. Actually, it looks like a good spot just to be a general in and out area. Freaking predators everywhere. Alright, right, cool. We got the bottom defensive fence. Alright, let's work on some of the amenities now. So, I think right here is a good spot. The school. School should reasonably be put right here. I'm gonna move this and put another well. Boom. There. Now we're gonna focus kind of on getting up the basics. Basically, we just need to build our clay clay mine right here. Wow, 9,000 clay. That's crazy. And that's a lot of clay. There we go. We'll build that school up slowly over time. Alright, Forester is now up. Put that up to six people. We're going to put it at a three to one ratio. Planting. Uh, the fertility here is very high. Hopefully we get some good coming in. Tannery's way over there. I'm going to put the tannery up here now. Base should be utilized. Yeah, we'll move it over just a tad so we can get more forested area. 89% is pretty decent. Alright, max pop of 80. I got two towers. Six spare people. Hmm. Food situation is a bit interesting. They're always kind of tweaking food mechanics, and this is what I wanted to figure out, was that how well can this place survive? I was like, what? Am I missing a wall piece? Nope. Smokehouse is a good corner wall piece, though, but... I think for the sake of, uh... Aesthetic and designs here... We might want to go with something else. Alright. Yeah, and then this is an extra piece. Alright, cool. 
And we got it going on now. 240, 288. Yeah, both of these guys can reasonably go between two, both points for hunting. Five, cool. That's a lot of good hunting there. The wolves just keep coming into town from out of nowhere. I like this little bank. Though, this is good, but this is going to be another farm, eventually. Alright. Yeah, we're bringing in the food. Alright, and the storage cart ox, I think I'm going to throw back up over here. Don't want him to die. Or have things stolen out of it. Eighty-nine gold needed. All right, I'm throwing all the town, uh, the money back into the town. That. Cool. Oh, and we're planting. What are we planting here, my friends? Like oaks for sure. Oak trees. Yeah, dang! Look how fast they're growing too in this area. It's gonna be probably one of the best forested areas I've ever had. Cool. Neat. Lots of pelts. Primarily just need to ensure the population continues to grow. Goats. Chicken. Chicken coop is next. I think this might actually be a good... The fodder bonus is 55%. Um, wow. This whole area is amazing. Interesting. I forgot how big the chicken areas are, but I want to see if I could put chickens in this spot over here. Kind of cool. Do some chickens. Do some testing on the chickens. See how much food I can get. I know it's not enough. Alright. We're going to go and we're going to need hay. We don't have the infrastructure for hay. So we're going to go turnips, clovers, bees. And we'll feed the feed the chickens turnips. I'm going to put a gate over here, and I'm going to put a road. Like, it's important to kind of have a secondary, secondary road access over there. Alright, he's not, not doing much for me. He does have very cheap stone. Shame that I can't purchase it. Um, not that I necessarily need to. Oops. Alright. Oh, two dead. That's not bad for year nine for me. Pretty good. Alright. Almost got this bad boy up. We get enough clay once we get that up. If I get these up to tier two housing. Yeah, we're probably going to have to do a shrine. Such a bad placement, but... We don't actually need it. We're getting, we're getting away with no spirituality, but I feel like it would increase our immigration and birth rates if I got the spirituality up. Just so much stone and money.
Right. Well, well, we'll let him keep going at it. Take a peek. For camp six, four. I think we can kind of cut down on boards for a bit. Gonna get some more free labor. There we are, chicken coop away. Ah, oh, one tile off. 67. Ugh. Right here, I can put him for now. I'll do this for now until I put houses there. 67 is kind of a drag. A lot of great areas around us, though. And up here would be decent for the bears. The bears. All right. But yeah, they did make it so that you only use two people in a chicken coop now, but we'll see. Because the chickens have to eat. So they have to produce more than they eat for them to be worth it. And then you have to take that difference and, sit and just kind of like, is it worth it? Like, especially because I have so many hunters bringing in oodles. Oodles of protein already. Now the milk would be worth it, because the milk would be a new food type. And that, I think having a balance, uh, outside of being able to upgrade housing easier, I think it also gives health benefits. Right. So far so good. Arborist is kind of next on my list. Um, if I were thinking big, I are a big thinking man. I am 99% environmental utility effect. I would just go the distance. I tend to start production of food relatively aggressive at this point. And uh, it tends to pay off. So, ooh, look at this. This is actually a beautiful spot for an arborist right here. That's what we're going to do. So we'll get some fruit coming in. Yeah, we'll double out this farm. Eight people. Yes. This is exactly what I needed to justify everything that I was doing. Trees. Cut all those down, but they're crap. Cut all these down. I'm not going to cut these guys down because they're already in the sphere. A lot of trees I can cut down, but they don't have a lot of wood in them. I'm gonna need to cut down a bunch of trees over here, too. Well, looky there. Got ourselves a village. Empty chicken coops. Looks like most of the bears have been coming up from the north, so they've been getting hit by my people. I've been kind of fortunate. Oh, nice! Look at all those trees that I planted. They're growing so they're growing so fast with that high fertility. All right, money and stone, and got ourselves a disco. All right, um, all garden. Time to get crazy. Might have to up the board production, but let's just do it. Let's get nuts. Ooh. Oh. oh, yeah, a lot of people went into the farming. But they can't do much, so this is where it gets a little annoying. You have to kind of micromanage this stuff. I need lots and lots of logs. Boards. Perfection. Now you get these up to tier 2. That will increase our population naturally and get us a little bit more money. And the houses look dope. Alright, let's look what we can start trading. Lots of pelts have been being 
dudes. This looks like they kind of nerfed baskets, but not really. Um, all the honey can always come in. Want to um, keep in stock honey? We'll sell all of it. Baskets. All right, we need to um, up the, the baskets to two people so we can start selling them. There we go. Yeah, let's make sure any and all stone. I think we got a good swath of it up here. Yeah, that should do it. There we go. We're doing it. stacking. Kind of looking weird there for a second, but now it's still there. Right, cool. Very nice. I probably should have put this up a little bit more. <laughs> Realizing there's quite a bit of hill there and not over here. That's all right. I couldn't bring it, it's like I had to have it close enough, but yeah, things could have been done nicer here. Bring that up just a little bit. There. Alright, we got one up to 30. Very good. One house upgrading already. Turnip disease, eh? Ramp. Mm, still got lots of clover, or sorry, lots of weeds, but those should. The clover should take care of that. We'll see if it, the peas are peas have zero weed suppress present, and that's when they kind of come back. The peas are kind of bad in that regard. To be careful with them. All right, baskets. Do it. Alright, things are going to get a little rough here for a bit. That's right, I just got to like turn it off. Alright, we're not going to make boards anymore. We were fine. Need boards? Yeah, we made more than enough boards. want to get this field up. 13 per basket, eh? I'm gonna wait for this other guy to see if he can give me a better deal. Honey at three, you take it at any pro uh, anything I'll give you for honey and take. Basket at 13. Nothing, nothing that is a good value. Throw a couple, couple hundred into the town. All right. Do it. Got too many builders, I think. I didn't realize how bad he was. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize how bad he was. Well, I just got that guy killed. That was a dick move. 
Come on, get the bear out over here. To get him close to the tower. There we go. There we are. Now the bear will die. Eek. The other guy, yeah, I got that hunter killed. But it happens when you listen to me, man. He could have told me. He told me he was hurt. Alright, we're getting these houses upgraded, though. The best thing in the world. For A lot of these are over 30. Some of these in the corner aren't. Um, yeah, the corner, corner guys are always kind of getting no love. Actually might be a better place for the temple. Yeah, temple and theater are going to go here. I changed my mind. The barracks is going to go elsewhere. Maybe even over here. Oh, there we are. 82 plus zero gold. Maximum happiness achieved. Things are going my way now. So we're in that beautiful stage of preparing ourselves for massive population. And I gotta move this guy because it's all up in my area. From there. Oh, yeah, this is prime. Primo. Alright, and so we're gonna use the the really good tactic of doing half and half fields. So half apple and, and half um, each. That way the two people are focused on harvesting half a field at a time. It's a, it's really smart way to do it. You get pretty much... And also what's great is that because fruit has like a four month shelf life. And if you don't know this, the seller increases the shelf life by 25% and a tier 2 seller, seller increases it by 50% but that's not a lot at those levels so um, with the 50% shelf life increase you're looking at uh, about 6 months 6 or 7 months that fruit lasts so if they're yielding at different times in the year you're more likely to have fruit uh, year round Alright, we'll just wait for that thing to be done. There we go. Alright, we only need 12 workers on this. Oh man, look at the weeds. Uh, we're gonna need... It's just not gonna work. We're, we're gonna need... Um, a whole new field for, for for chickens and we'll just do hay and do hay and flax on that field because I gotta get these weeds down. This will do it right here. Beans have moderate weed suppression. Peas have zero. Zero weed suppression. But uh, clovers have five out of ten. So This will help reduce weed levels, though, too. I have actually done the math on clovers are better at weed re reduction, but we do have rockiness we need to get rid of, and weeds can't really do that too well. No, they can't. Oh, that's rockiness resilience. That means they can grow despite the despite the fact that it's rocky, they can grow. Um, that doesn't help us. We want to remove it so we get our max heals on our beans. All right. have a weird yield. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching.